in that perfect costume. And we want to make sure that perfect costume is spooky and not the price tag, right? We don't want any hidden expenses popping up. Joining me this morning to make sure your costume is spooky and not the price tag is Vice President of Better Business Bureau, Greater Houston Area, Leah Napoliello. Thank you so much for stopping by. Sure. Any issues? I know we were just chatting with Justina. It looks like those roadways are a mess. Any issues coming in? No, it was fine. No problems whatsoever. Pretty yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay, so talk to us about um, the seasonal stores mm -hmm. starting their pop-ups. So this is the time of year mm -hmm. we see those Halloween stores, those costume mm -hmm. stores pop up. People are mm -hmm. eager to get that costume, mm -hmm. get it all planned out, squared away before the before um, Halloween. But there are things mm -hmm. you should keep in mind. Right. So if you are shopping at some of those seasonal stores, you want to realize you know they're only going to be here a couple of weeks. So you want to check the return policy mm. and exchange policy because it could be gone after um, Halloween. So you want to make sure if you are dissatisfied in any way, you have some way to return it. Some of these seasonal shops have an online component, so you want to check that too and ask if that is an option to return um, by mailing it online. You know, that is yeah. really good mm -hmm. to keep in mind, it, it, knowing that those pop-up stores do have an expiration. They're there mm -hmm. one minute, gone the next. Right, exactly. They won't last forever, so after Halloween, they may not be here anymore. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, for people perusing social media, finding the perfect um, costume online, mm -hmm. uh, they there are things to be aware of when you're when you're when you're looking on social media sites at different costumes. Right. So you want to be careful when you're shopping online because sometimes we see some false advertising. Mm. People report to us they buy a costume that looks really expensive and elaborate. They see online the photos and then they get it and it's very cheap and poorly made. So you want to make sure you're shopping on reputable sites and check with sites like the Better Business Bureau, read complaints and reviews on mm. these websites to see if there are any of those types of issues that would be of concern and would prevent you from buying from that particular retailer. Is there something to look out for when we talk about safe links versus mm -hmm. Say not safe links. Yeah, you want to make sure you're shopping on a secure site. So um, that that should have that S after the HTTP. Okay. And so if you are entering in your credit card information or other information, all that information will be secure and safe and won't be compromised in any way. And you said it. We mm -hmm. we we're always talking about this. Use your credit card, not mm -hmm. a debit card. Right. It's always best to use a credit card because if there is any problem, you always have that other option to go back to your credit card company and dispute the charges that way. So you always had that recourse in that case. What should parents know about haunted houses? So you want to, if you're going to a haunted house, sometimes you have to pay in advance. So you want to know the con cancellation policy. If you have to cancel or if, you know, the event cancels mm -hmm. uh, as well. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be losing money on the deal. So make sure you understand all the policies of the event in advance. Make sure it's a reputable event by checking with the Better Business Bureau on the company that is hosting it. Yeah, I'm, I've never been big on haunted houses. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a scaredy cat. Oh. <laughs> uh, but those, that's mm -hmm. all really good information mm -hmm. to know and to keep in mind. Yeah, Leah, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. Sure, thank you Always for having me. Always a pleasure me. to have you on the show. Okay.